Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday, November 3rd. Um, election day is here. But you might call it from God's perspective, selection day, because this is about what whom he wants. He's going to bring about what he wants to happen. And as people who say that he is a sovereign Lord, then we need to, if you will, get on board with that trust. It doesn't mean that we're apathetic or not caring about what happens. We should care very deeply, but we should care more deeply about God. Paul has a word, a few lines for us in the book of Colossians, which I think give us a great picture of where God wants us to be this day. He says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. So peace and thankfulness are at the outset of these words in this paragraph. Let the word of Christ dwell richly in you as you teach and counsel one another with all wisdom. And as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitudes in your heart to God. So music, the instruction of Christ, the love of Christ, not just academically grasped, but grasped deep in our heart so that it comes forth with gratitude and song. A joyful song, as the Psalms remind us. And then he says this, and this, this wraps up the paragraph and the thought taking us right back to the beginning about the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. This is how you make this happen. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So there we have Christ back at the center, and we're to do it all in his name. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, that includes thoughts. Do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God. Okay, now we've heard that phrase, if you've been a Christian, all the time, do everything in the name of Jesus. And we see it perverted, we see it trashed around, we see it used commonly, we see people misunderstand it, make something mystical of it. But the name of Jesus, as we've been looking at in our studies in the Psalms and the wisdom literature, the name of Jesus is a personal name. It's that name, Yahweh. It's God's covenant name for us. It's a personal, intimate name, indicating his care and sacrifice for us. So doing it in the name of Jesus means that there's a personal connection. And maybe this illustration will give us some tiny indication of what this means. In the last of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and the return of the king, the final battle is that everything looks very dire and there's an army of the bad guys coming out to take on the king and his forces. And they're trying to give Frodo some extra time to complete the mission to destroy the ring and the fire. And the odds are overwhelming against them with these brutal monsters and the ugly enemy that is fighting them. But the words that Aragorn uses to lead the troops into battle and which inspires them, he calls them to do this for Frodo. So they rush headlong with this passion, committed to victory for Frodo willing to give their own lives for Frodo, this little hobbit who's trying to get this miraculous task done. They are going to war in the name of Frodo. Brothers and sisters, if we don't go to war every day in the name of Jesus Christ, 
with the same passion, the same commitment, the same gratitude, the same commitment, and more, then we, we will be overcome by the forces of this world. We will be overcome by this election, no matter who wins. See, we're not doing this in the name of Trump or Biden or anybody else. We're not doing this for our name. Paul is passionately telling Timothy and his listeners and you and me, if you want peace and gratitude, if you want victory in this life, as those men who went into battle wanted victory over the evil forces in front of them, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus, but do it with the passion that empties everything that you have. Let into this cause. Let the word of Christ dwell on you richly. Love your family against insurmountable odds. Fight the forces of fear, which seem insurmountable. With the same passion, I'm going to do this in the name of the Lord Jesus, because he is my God. He is my covenant God. He is my intimate God. Run into battle as those warriors ran into battle against something that looked like there's no way they could win. But you see, they weren't thinking about the enemy. They were thinking about the one to whom they were giving their lives. This day, let's not think about the enemy. Let's give everything we have in the name of the one who has given us life. And that's the thought for the day. Do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God. It's a great mission for us. Now, Lord willing, we'll see you tonight. See you soon. Bye-bye.